Is Daisy saying this in her best uwu voice? <laughs> you can say it however you feel appropriate for the... Well, look, you have no idea where this is going to go. So you know what? You can say it however your heart leads you, all right? <laughs> Whatever the doki doki is fucking... <laughs> Oh, okay, holy okay. shit, this is dumb. <laughs> Wait, no, the one guy that was reading along did a really good job. He should do it. Well, I, I was Daisy, gone. you can't back out now. <laughs> no, you gotta do the weird voices. I'll read the rest, but you gotta do the noises. Wait, I have... Okay, so I might as well read the whole thing as far as I'm concerned. No, Daisy. not <laughs> you, Celery. You're the Gokunaru. Okay. Wait, I gotta, I gotta sound detached. I gotta... <laughs> oh, voices... <laughs> Ugh. He's doing the voice. He's doing the Gokunar voice, okay? And then whoever was reading along and was like, oh, all I can hear is, but you're doing the noises. Oh, Daisy, you are <laughs> everything to me. <laughs> I just washed it off. <laughs> Who was reading along earlier? Who was it? Uh, but, Don't um, back down now, but, you um, bitch. But, um, but, um, but, um. No, say Doki Doki, you bitch. <laughs> Please be quiet. Come on, please, please. It was no use. It was so loud. Gokunara was absolutely certain everyone in his classroom could hear it. No, everyone in the entire school. The doki doki of his heart beating steadily, <laughs> intensely, as he desperately tried to quell it, but to no avail. Yee. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Senpai wouldn't let go, holding both of his hands above his head, pushed past the wall. Fucking trick talk trance. Ew, excuse me. <laughs> Unable to move at all or avert his gaze from Senpai. To be honest, he was grateful for a chance to be so close to his upperclassmen. He could almost squee. <laughs> but this isn't how he wanted it to be. Gokunar was a romantic little fella, and this was far too much to handle. Please, j just let go of me. Class is starting soon. Goku pleaded, but his request was interrupted by a small giggle. <laughs> Creature giggle. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was interrupted by a small goblin-faced creature. A friend of his senpai's. H3, H3! H3! <laughs> <laughs> Goblin-faced creature. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Hila. Daisy. Hee hee. Hila. <laughs> Hila, where's my beady? Giggled with glee, delighting in the torment of the helpless Naru. What's the matter? Too weak to move? Too scared? Or maybe something else? <laughs> the creature cackled in a way that somehow sounded similar to everyone else, but was way more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> he turned his lecherous eyes towards his much larger and better regarded life raft of a friend who still had the young Naru in his grasp. What should we do with him, boss? <laughs> Goblin eyebrows raised up so impressively high on the last word that several pimples on his face, which resembled a topographical map of the Rocky Mountains, popped at the same time, <laughs> violating the senses of every student in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> senpai didn't flinch, nor did Goka, unable to avert his eyes from Senpai for every inch of him. <laughs> his deeply intense eyes furrowed by brows that looked as though they'd been stripped off a bear. His broad himbo shoulders and chest with two diamond encrusted peaks erupted symmetrically at the front. <laughs> <laughs> his massive thighs <laughs> erupting from his signature short shorts. A strange choice for the winter weather they were experiencing. <laughs> but how could such a thick piece of man meat ever be cold? <laughs> Keep reading! <laughs> <laughs> it was the ultimate temptation made even more enticing by his progressive social values. <laughs> oh my god. And right now, this, this. 
was holding Glucanar so tightly, his hands began to cramp due to the lack of circulation and awkward positioning. With all the blood leaving his arms, he knew there was only one oblong protrusion left for it to fill. No, please. Anything but that. Not in the middle of class. <laughs> It was too late. The blood had already rushed all the way down and filled it up right in front of Hassan and everyone. His nose red as the ketchup in his pantaloons. <laughs> 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 was blushing as hard as the cheeks flanking his impressive <laughs> on either side. <laughs> Right in front of Senpai. Come on, Daisy. Hassan laughed, but not in a normal way, but in a way where every ha was displayed slightly too much from the prior ha and slightly too much from the preceding ha. <laughs> but never in a way where you would think he was going to stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Are you nervous? <laughs> he boasted loudly. Goku was nervous. He was scared. He had always liked Senpai, but... This felt wrong. <laughs> this wasn't how he wanted to be held. How he wanted to be loved. D dude, Wait, no, are on. you turned on right now? <laughs> Goka's eyes were wide open as he hurriedly stared down at the floor, his embarrassment overflowing. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm only okay with bullying you if you're a cis white male. <laughs> Continue. You need to tell me if you have an alternative sexual identity. I have really progressive values, you know. <laughs> A single but visible tear welled up in Gokunaru's eyes. Was this really it? Was this the love of his Toki Toki high school years? The man that he had yearned for so long, hanging out with some goblin-faced losers and bullying him for his obsessive desire to curl up in the loving embrace of an even bigger, manlier man? <laughs> <laughs> his, his heart it couldn't bear the weight the darkness the edge of a younger pre-Hong Kong Gokunaru was creeping in <laughs> searching for some kind of slur to protect his own ego <laughs> uh, I didn't want to be this way Hassan how many pages are there left I, I might have loved you but not now not enough as his tongue curled, preparing to end this traumatizing event with the single word of power. <laughs> Staring <laughs> angrily, fearfully into the eyes of what was once his dream himbo, the classroom door was kicked open with such force that it decapitated an unnamed background character and shattered every room, every window within a three mile radius. <laughs> Lovely, wet voice boomed from the <laughs> <laughs> The goblin faced creature shrieked and jumped out of a window only to be caught mid air by a local hawk and carried off screen. <laughs> Hassan dropped Goka, who fell to the floor in fear and disgrace over his close call with the alt right pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> The brazen himbo laughed, and again, in a very confusing way, <laughs> and turned toward the classroom door. Oh yeah? And who are you supposed to be? <laughs> An emotionally distressed Goka lifted his eyes, brushing his emo face haircut away so he could see his savior, and no, 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 it can't be... <laughs> And yet, the hulking being moving its slug-like body through the door just barely contained it in their school uniform. It was, it had to be him, the tuna pasta salad monster from Anna's story in the flesh, <laughs> mostly mayo and pasta. <laughs> so it stared menacingly at Hassan. Or at least appeared to, as it had no eyes, so nobody really knows where it's looking at any given moment. Hassan <laughs> let out another uncanny laugh. 
<laughs> you think you can take me on? A monster made of tuna pasta salad? Is this some kind of joke? His head cocked and he cracked his knuckles, walking up to the beast and sizing up its mayo-lined amorphous body. The tuna pasta salad monster made a noise that could be assumed to be a laugh, motioning at the window and grinning with his signature chickpea teeth. <laughs> but he created him. <laughs> Hassan looked out the window, his cocky smile disintegrating as he locked eyes with the blue-haired SJW floating outside the building. <laughs> In moments, milliseconds, which to Hassan felt like millennia, other M-words, the SJW seemingly teleported in front of the absolute slab of himbo. Beast. <laughs> with a single word... The man with the girl's name and the son <laughs> disappeared <laughs> and probably survived off screen because we don't want to get sued for writing fanfic about killing social media influencers. The tuna pasta monster slithered over to Gokunaro, still hunched over on the far side of the classroom. <laughs> it's butter, tuna, and mayo specks flying out of what I can only assume is its mouth with every word. Yeah, I think I'm alright. Goku responded, wiping bits of tuna and mayo from his face. He looked up at the monster, the very same that killed his producer in cold blood just a few days ago. Why? I thought you hated me. You killed my friend. You made me scared to be in my own home. Why? <laughs> the tuna monster hesitated, its mayo-filled appendages shaking, trying to find the words to say. It raised its big tuna head, staring directly at Gokunaru. Tuna to eye. If you don't love me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> Gokunaru stared in disbelief, <laughs> shaking his head and wondering what kind of fucking vegetable wrote this script. <laughs> but he smiled anyway, turning back to his secret tuna pasta admirer. He accepted its wet mayo hand, lifting him onto his feet and into the wet mayo embrace of the monster. <laughs> At this point, I've given up on romantic love. He said with a certain detached apathy. Oh so goodness. I'm cool with whatever this is. The tuna pasta salad monster held him even tighter, slightly absorbing the handsome lad into his body. Let me still have me <laughs> <laughs> monster said, winking <laughs> at the walls. It couldn't see them, but it knew they were winking. <laughs> no, come on! The monster said, Let's go get Daisy. She can't be allowed to roam free for any longer. <laughs> Luca smiled. It wasn't love. Not yet, anyway. But it was kind. It was considerate. It was finally going to get Daisy. And that was enough. <laughs> As he watched the monster slither away with the YouTuber equivalent of Edgar Allan Poe and lit his cigar, cigar with an ignite, ignited $100 bill, <laughs> Bernie Benjamin, he called it. The well-dressed fellow pulled out his burner, fumbling through the stacks of money and bags of flour in his suit pockets to find the hundred he wrote that number on. So much trouble over one little fellow? But hey, he didn't call the shots, just pulled the trigger. Well, generally hired someone else to pull the trigger for him, but tomato, tomato. Oh, I'm sorry, tomato, tomato. <laughs> How dare you mispronounce my beautiful script? <laughs> He dialed the number of his partner, cracking a grin when she picked up. Hey, boss, good news. He's coming straight to you. The end. <laughs> wow. That was the best. Let's go. Very good. Very good. That was Beautiful. fantastic. 
Ooh, Such a romantic a story. Modern masterpiece. <laughs> that was the that sequel. Was the best audio That's, such a, That's such a cliffhanger. That's such a cliffhanger. We need the sequel. And you know what? The sequel's never coming because Goku never read it on stream. <laughs> That's okay. Now that you recorded it, you just have to see the if play Goku on does the stream. See it. We love it. Look, for some reason, he thought it was a better idea to read someone else's fanfic. That person is called Yowie Lover Twenty Four. Um, <laughs> <laughs>